Hormone Replacement Therapy. Hormone replacement therapy, or HRT, is commonly used in women who have gone through menopause. On average, about age 51, women will go through menopause, and essentially what that means is that the woman stops ovulating. And when that happens, the ovaries no longer produce estrogen, and she will stop menstruating. So her monthly period ceases. Now because of this uh, decline in estrogen, the woman will experience several symptoms. Some of them are uh, hot flashes, um, vaginal dryness, and many other symptoms that can happen. So to alleviate those symptoms, hormone replacement therapy is used. And essentially what HRT is, is it's the hormones that are lost or no longer produced uh, during menopause. And those are, of course, estrogen. And sometimes progesterone is also included in the HRT treatment. And giving hormone replacement therapy can reduce the likelihood of certain diseases but unfortunately it can also increase the chance of developing certain conditions. So what I'll do is I'll first talk about what HRT helps and then I'll talk about the risks of HRT. So HRT is definitely beneficial with the following. The first one of course is symptoms that a woman will go through in menopause and some of the most common are hot flashes and uh, night sweats and another one that's very common during menopause is atrophy of the vagina and this uh, leads to vaginal dryness another uh, disease that HRT helps is that it reduces the risk of developing osteoporosis osteoporosis of course is when the bones become weak after menopause and that can be a risk for fractures. In addition to HRT, it is also highly recommended that you also add a osteoporosis specific medication to the woman's regimen and that medication is known as a bisphosphonate. Now let's talk about some of the risks of HRT. The first one is breast cancer. Unfortunately, if a woman is on combined HRT, what that means is that hormone replacement therapy that contains both estrogen and progesterone, greater than five years, studies have shown that there's an increased risk of developing breast cancer. The next risk of HRT is cardiovascular disease. Studies have shown that there is an increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease in women who are greater than 60 years of age if they are on combined HRT, which is estrogen and progesterone, but in particular only the oral form, so the tablet. The next risk is a very common one actually, unfortunately, is venous thrombosis or blood clots. And there's definitely studies that have proven that it, there's an increased risk of developing that if a woman is on combined HRT, and in particular, the oral form. And the final risk that I wanted to mention is endometrial cancer. Now this is increased in risk if the woman is on estrogen only HRT so hormone replacement therapy that involves just estrogen but there is no risk if there is combined estrogen and progesterone HRT so if you add progesterone there's no risk of endometrial cancer so obviously you have to weigh the risks and the benefits and also you have to decide whether you want to take HRT just for a short-term 
just to alleviate some of the symptoms that you're experiencing during menopause or if you really want to take it long term to help prevent some of the long term side effects such as osteoporosis. Now let's take a look at a couple vignettes. 55 year old woman comes to the office for a periodic health maintenance exam. She has been a patient for a number of years but you have not seen her for five years. Her review of systems is positive for fatigue, recent weight gain, temperature intolerance and hot flashes being frequent and some mild pruritus over her hands. Her last menstrual period was seven months prior. She had a cholecystectomy at age 43 and ovarian cyst removal at 23. Her family history is remarkable for a father who died of myocardial infarction at age 59 and a mother who is alive and well. Her sister and aunt both died of breast cancer at age 61. Her father and her grandfather both had diabetes. She smokes one half pack cigarettes per day. She appears her stated age, is well and in no distress. Temperature is 37, blood pressure is 110 over 80, pulse is 65, physical exam is unremarkable. Concerning her postmenopausal status, the most appropriate intervention to reduce long-term mor morbidity and mortality is, well, if she does want to be on hormone replacement therapy, then definitely the combination of estrogen and progesterone is recommended. But in addition to prevent osteoporosis, she should have a bisphosphonate along with the estrogen and progesterone. So estrogen and progesterone and bisphosphonate, that's the most appropriate one. Estrogen by itself is probably not a good recommendation because it can increase the risk of endometrial cancer and some of these other choices are not the best regimens. For example, B uh, is missing the bisphosphonate, which she would definitely need. And finally, a 53-year-old woman comes to the physician for a routine health maintenance exam. She has had intermittent hot flashes that disturb her sleep nightly for approximately one year. She has occasional migraine headaches treated with acetaminophen. Her last menstrual period was one year ago. She had a left oophorectomy for ovarian torsion at age 29. She has no allergies to medications. She seeks advice about hormone replacement therapy. Which of the following is the most appropriate counseling for this patient? Well, let's go through these. HRT can be used to prevent breast cancer. Well, Unfortunately, that's not true. There's a slightly increased risk of breast cancer if a woman is on combined HRT for greater than five years. HRT can be used to prevent cardiac disease. Unfortunately, there's a risk of cardiovascular disease if a woman that is greater than 60 is started on HRT. In particular, combined HRT that is in its oral form or the tablet. HRT can be used to prevent stroke. Unfortunately, HRT can cause blood clots if you use combined HRT in its oral form. HRT can be used to treat cardiac disease. Well, that's completely not true. That's uh, false. So by process of elimination, we get to E, but E is of course definitely true. Hormone replacement therapy is used to treat hot flashes which are some of the symptomatology that occurs with women who have undergone menopause.